Nigerian music star Dapo Oyebanjo, popular known to many as the Banj, may be stripped from his appointment as UN Ambassador for Peace. This is after over 15,000 people signed an online petition calling on the UN to distance itself from the Banj over claims of him having raped a woman, Seyitan Babatayo, at a white party event held at Glee Hotel in Victoria Island, Lagos on December 30th, 2018. According to the petitioner's creators, the UN should end its relationship with the self-styled Coco Master in support of victims of gender-based violence. <laughs> Netizens have always hinted that Esma Platinums might have played a role in international donors' breakup with Diamond Platinums. Tired of being wrongfully accused, Esma has defended herself stating that Tanzanians are hypocrites. She stated that she has no time to waste on other re people relationships while her own was failing. For those not aware, Esma's relationship with her baby daddy, Petit Man, has been on and off. Having broken up at least twice, got back together before finally parting ways again. <laughs> Diamond Platinum's baby mama, Hamisa Mobeto, has once again proven to the world that she is loaded as F. This is after the mother of two came out to show off her brand new ride, believed to have been her latest addition to her garage. In an Instagram status update, Hamisa flaunted her new 2018 Toyota Prado TX. The last is seen trying to fit in the driver's seat as she tries to drive her new black beast in a video that she posted. Well, a brand new 2018 Toyota Prado TX retails at 6.8 million shillings, which means Hamisa is still balling. <laughs> Megan Fox didn't walk the walk a few days back and that's because she didn't have to, Curtis of Machine Gun Kelly. The couple hang out at the Beer Hunter Bar in La Quinta near Palm Springs with some friends at the table inside the bar. Folks in the bar say there was no doubt Megan and MGK are together. They split after just shy of an hour and MGK helped Megan take the load off by carrying her on his shoulder and she loved it. Megan and Machine Gun Kelly have gotten super close. He even declared his love for her on social media. So in with the new and out with the old. One of the four ex-cops charged in the brutal killing of George Floyd was confronted by an angry shopper who bristled when he told her he was sorry that she felt the way she did. Jay Alexander was shopping at Cubs Food in Plymouth, Minnesota Saturday when this particular woman spotted him. Alexander was captured in a video standing by as Derek Chauvin mercilessly put his knee on George Floyd's neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Alexander acknowledged who he was and the woman recorded him and when he told her he was sorry she was feeling the way she was, she got pretty agitated. <laughs> Ja Rule has made his services widely available to the general public because the dude's offering up private party bookings now, something that his old foe, 50 Cent, finds awfully hilarious. The rapper made an appearance this weekend at a private house party in New Jersey where it looks like he was hired by a bunch of hotties to perform a few hit songs and hang out for a bit. One classic jam of his that he got around to playing was I'm Real featuring J-Lo. Everyone was having a good old time and Ja suddenly had no shame in announcing that yes, people can book him for gigs like this now. <laughs> WWE star The Undertaker has announced that he's retiring after claiming he has nothing left to accomplish in the ring. The 55-year-old made the announcement in the past last episode in his documentary series The Last Ride. The Undertaker has been performing in the ring for years having made his WWE debut in the 1990 till today. He has gone on to win every championship in the event possible while also having an incredible winning streak at WrestleMania that only recently came to an end. But the star claimed that and I quote, I'm at a point it's time this cowboy really rides away. There's nothing left for me to accomplish or to conquer. End of quote. After the end of the local drama Machachari, Thailand buyer alias Baha has made huge strides in the entertainment industry. Baha is not only an actor but also a musician who has been trying so hard to rise his hustles. Baha has become an online sensation after releasing a new song in which he featured his brother Mungai Mbaya. The song titled Wale Baya premiered on all music platforms on Wednesday, June 17th. The Mbaya brothers have adopted the Gengeton style in their music, a style that is now common in the Kenyan music scene. CMB Prezo has for the first time claimed he genuinely won the Big Brother Africa reality TV show. According to the rapper, he deserved the 30 million shilling prize money but organizers had to hand over the victory to South African contestant King Dad Peterson. The King of Bling alleged the show organizers had to favor Keegan because his country played the host. However, the rapper said he was well compensated by the organizers. The star claimed apart from the organizers arranging his meeting with Jay-Z in New York, they made him one campaign goodwill ambassador, which was great.
And with that, we come to the end of this edition of the Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6.50pm to 7pm. From me, PNK, here at the Daily 10, it's goodbye.